In this video, we're going to talk about two vowel sounds, I or pink, and E, green. Extra English practice. So these two sounds can easily be confused. So we want to kind of show you the difference between them. Mm -hmm. So the I, I, or pink color, the symbol looks like this. This is a short I sound. Mm -hmm. So it's the sound in fill and sit yep. and pin. Thank you. To form this sound, your, your mouth is pretty lax, pretty relaxed. It's not the most relaxed that it can be. That's more of an uh. But it's not tight. It's, it's just i, i, i. Mm -hmm. The other sound is what we call the green sound. This is the phonetic symbol. This is a longer sound, and your mouth is in more of a, almost like a smile. E. So you pull your mouth open like that. E. And it's long. Mm -hmm. E. I. Yep. E. I. This is the sound in the word cheese. Yeah. And that's why when people take a picture, sometimes they say, yeah. say cheese. Because your mouth smiles when you say it. Mm -hmm. It's also in words like keep or tree. Mm -hmm. So it's a long sound, mouth open. Yeah. We're going to start with some listening practice. You'll see a sentence above, and then we will say either the word that has I in it or the word with E and see if you hear the same one that we're saying. So the first sentence is, I want to live here. Or, I want to leave here. So maybe it's a beautiful location, I want to live there. Or, maybe I'm done and tired and I just want to leave. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> so which do you hear? Live, I, or leave, E. I want to leave here. I want to leave here. Hmm. I hear the long E sound. I want to leave here. It must be an awful place. Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Canada? <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen again. I want to live here. I want to live here. Did you hear it that time? It was different. It was the shorter sound. It, pink. I want to live here. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Yeah. Let's try again. <laughs> I want to live here. I want to live here. Hmm. It was the same sound as the last one. Again, this one. It, it. I want to live here. One more? Yeah. Okay. I want to leave here. I want to leave here. Okay. She used the green sound again. Mm -hmm. The long sound. She wants to leave. Yep. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our next sentence is either you need to hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Maybe you're playing a sport. Or you need to heat it. You need to heat it. To heat something means to make it warm or make it hot. So maybe you have some food from the fridge. Yeah. You want to heat it. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. You need to heat it. You need to heat it. Heat. So the green heat. Mm -hmm. You need to heat it. You need to heat it. Again, <laughs> long sound. Heat. You need to hit it. You need to hit it. Short hit. Mm -hmm. One more? Mm -hmm. You need to heat it. You need to heat it. That's the long one. Heat. Mm -hmm. This sentence is, where is my ship? Or where's my sheep? Where's my ship? My boat? My large boat? <laughs> What's it? In the water? <laughs> Presumably. Or where's my sheep? On the boat. <laughs> oh, on the boat. <laughs> On the ship. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Mm, that time, hopefully, she's in the water. Mm -hmm. It's a ship. Yep. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? She's still looking for it. Hasn't been able to find <laughs> that ship. <laughs> Where's my sheep? Where's my sheep? Oh, I'm more excited about this one. Cute little <laughs> animal. <laughs> Where's my sheep? Where's my sheep? Did you hear that? It was the same one again, the long sound. Next sentence. That's a high hill. A hill. 
you know, in the land. That's a high hill. Or that's a high heel. That's a high heel. High heel is a type of shoe where the back part of your foot, the heel, there's a long piece there. Mm -hmm. Usually women wear these. Not the, these women. They're uncomfortable. Oh, sometimes you do. I do sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Not high heels. Not really high. <laughs> short heels. Medium heels. Medium. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. That's a high heel. That's a high heel. That's a high heel on that shoe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a high hill. That's a high hill. It's good for tobogganing. Yes. Yeah. Favorite. Slide down that hill. Mm-hmm. You need snow for that. Mm. That's a high heel. That's a high heel. Be careful when you're walking. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're walking up a hill. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a high hill. That's a high hill. Pink one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to practice this our favorite way. Game time. Game time. <laughs> How this works is we'll show you two words that are a minimal pair. So one has the I sound, one has the E sound, but otherwise they're the same. And we'll describe one or the other of the things, and you have to guess which one it is. Ready? Yes. Great. We're going to start with one that we've already looked at, hit and heat. Hit, heat. Okay? So I'm thinking of one of them. This is something you do often in the kitchen. It is something that often involves food. Okay, I think I know. And making it warm. <laughs> <laughs> is it heat? Heat, mm. yeah, heat. So if you say hit, I think you mean this. Yeah. And heat, make something warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd rather make food warm than hit somebody. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next set of words is chick. Chick or cheek? Cheek. Ready? Mm -hmm. uh, this one is something you would find in a barnyard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe on a farm. Mm -hmm. It's cute. It's cute. Is it fluffy? It's fluffy. Does it peep? Peep, peep. <laughs> peep, peep. <laughs> like our little logo. Peep, peep. <laughs> it's a chick. A chick. Cheek is this. Chick is a little bird. Mm -hmm. Cheek. Body part. Chick is a baby chicken. Mm -hmm. Chick. So cute. <laughs> Next we have lip and leap. Lip, leap. This is um, something you do. Mm -hmm. It means jump. And usually it's a long jump or a far jump. Mm -hmm. I think she means leap. Mm -hmm. Take a leap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lip is this. Lip, leap. Yeah. The next two words are slip, slip, and sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleep. So this is something we do a lot in the winter. Mm -hmm. And I think I do both of those in the winter. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm trying to make a little trick. <laughs> um, it's something we often do outside in the winter. Mm. We don't, we don't, sometimes inside, but mm. in the winter in particular, it happens outside a lot. I know, because sleep is, it's too cold to do that outside. Mm -hmm. So slip, you slip, slip means kind of. Uh, fall. Yeah. Your foot loses its grip and you fall. Mm -hmm. We do that on the ice a lot. A lot. This yeah. winter especially, there was mm -hmm. a lot of slipping. Mm -hmm. Next we've got bin and bean. Bin, bean. This is something you find in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's both of them. <laughs> it could be both. Maybe you'd have a bin of beans. Yes, maybe. Uh -huh. This one is small. And you eat it. <laughs> it can be fresh or dried or canned. Oh, you're talking about beans? Yes, beans. <laughs> I don't think anybody's eating a bin. No. A bin is like a container. So you might put things in a bin. You don't eat it. No. The next words, grin, grin, and green, green. 
The word I'm thinking of could be used to describe my appearance right now. Oh, she's <laughs> grinning and she's wearing green. Mm. Uh, it also is the opposite, some would say, of red. Oh, green. Mm-hmm. Green. It also is a Christmas color like red. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they go together well. Yeah. <laughs> We like to grin a lot, the two of us. We're doing it right now. So it's, it's a way of smiling, a kind of smile. All right, now we have rich and reach. Mm-hmm. Rich and reach. The word I'm thinking of is a word people want, hope to use to describe themselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think most people would hope to be rich. Yes. Yeah. So rich means you have a lot of money, yeah. but you can also be rich in friends or mm-hmm. rich in, in other ways. Yeah. And reach is like this. Reach. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Excuse my reach, excuse Larissa. Me. I will excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> the next two. His, his, or he's, he's. Um, the word I'm thinking of is a contraction. Ha <laughs> <laughs> An easy one. Contraction is when two words come together to make another word. They usually have an apostrophe. Mm-hmm. It's he's. he's. His means it belongs to him. It's possessive. Yeah. Next one we have chip. Chip and cheap. Cheap. This word I'm thinking of is delicious. <gasps> <laughs> I ate it yesterday. Mm. We already talked about it today because we both love chips. Chips. Potato chips. Mm-hmm. I love beet chips. Yeah, I like all the vegetable chips that they Carrot make. Carrot chips, mm-hmm. yeah. Plus, you could say that usually chips are cheap. Cheap is inexpensive. Mm-hmm. Cheap. Okay, last one. The words are fit, fit, or feet, feet. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, recently, I've been going to the gym a lot. Oh. And at the gym, I don't wear socks. <laughs> Which word am I thinking of? <laughs> you go to the gym uh-huh. to get fit. Uh-huh. Fit means in good shape, healthy. Strong. Strong. But she's talking about socks, so it's feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why don't you wear socks? Well, it's a, a martial arts gym. We do karate and kickboxing, and the the tradition is you don't wear socks. Oh, you wear bare, bare feet. It's so you can you can you know if somebody pushes you, you're you've got a better grip. Okay. I thought inside your shoes you don't wear socks. Oh no, that would be okay. gross. <laughs> <laughs> Get sweaty shoe feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so these two sounds, i and e are easily confused, but if you practice, they'll get easier. Mm -hmm. You can practice by playing the same game with your friends. Mm -hmm. Think of two words that have these sounds that sound similar otherwise. See if they can guess which one you mean. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And remember to subscribe if you haven't, so you don't miss any videos. That's a high hill. A high hill. (laughs) (laughs) Running out of steam. (laughs) Not steam. (laughs) I just did like this. It's like a, a leg workout. I can't well do it that long. long. Okay, the next two words. His, his, or he's, he's. I thought I turned the sound off. I don't know.